My name is Phyllis Wakiaga. I am the Chief Executive Officer of the Kenya Association of Manufacturers. KAM is a business member organization. We have over 800 members in manufacturing and value add industry. The manufacturing sector currently contributes between 10 and 11 percent to the Kenyan GDP. The sector employs about 280,000 people directly, but for indirect employment and direct employment in total, we employ over 3 million people as a sector. The trade statistics uh, for Kenya to the EU are quite impressive. The EU market accounts for 22% of the Kenyan trade uh, out of Kenya to other countries. 26% goes to the ESC region. Some of the key exports out of Kenya to the EU market include the fresh produce, uh, which is French beans and uh, peas and the different fresh produce that are exported there. Fish is another key export to the EU market. Flowers from Kenya. We also export a number of manufactured products, which are from the food and beverage industries in Kenya. The Economic Partnership Agreement is an agreement between the East African Community and the European Union. This agreement guarantees ESC exports to the EU duty-free, quota-free access for all products except arms. For the EU exports to ESC, it will guarantee duty-free access for certain products uh, over a period of 25 years. So that is the period for liberalization of the market. However, under the agreement for exports from the EU to the ESC, certain products are in the sensitive list. This is mainly industrial products and agricultural products. Those will not move to duty-free uh, even within the end of the period. The Economic Partnership Agreement also has a developmental pillar, which is really to deal with the supply side constraints and uh, to promote the ESC partner states in meeting the uh, supply needs of the EU government. Other area that is important in the EPA is the Trade Facilitation Agreement. It allows for trade facilitation of goods into the EU market and deals with areas of phyto and, san and sanitary measures that will ensure that uh, goods from the ESC access the EU market. Currently the text is undergoing legal scrubbing and this needs to be expedited and concluded and after this we are going to go into the process of translation of the text into the EU countries' languages and into Kiswahili. Immediately the signature is uh, appended by the cabinet secretaries, the EPA goes into provisional application as the agreement goes through the ratification process of the different governments. Opportunities that exist in the new EPA after the signing of the agreement will be the opportunity to trade in a number of new products because of the revised rules of origin. There are over 1,000 liberalized tariff lines and certain manufacturing sectors will benefit. Uh, some of the key sectors include the textile sector, the apparel sector, the food sector and the beverage sector. Job creation, uh, because we'll be able to grow the manufacturing sector to be able to supply to the EU. The agricultural sector will also grow significantly because of the increased exports to the European Union. Out of the signing of the ESC EU EPA, we also expect the foreign exchange to increase significantly and eventually our GDP to grow as a country. The Economic Partnership Agreement has a regional benefit because the EPA allows for accumulation. Accumulation is the use of raw materials from the region to manufacture products for the EU market. This will have a benefit to regional trade because we'll be able to get raw materials from different countries in the region to accumulate and export to the EU.